Well, good morning. I'm out here in the Yak for another dive mission. Today I'm in one of my favorite places in the country, out in the Eastern Bay of Plenty. And uh, I've been here for the last couple of days. I've been fishing away and I really haven't had much luck. It's been super slow fishing down here. I got one kingfish, I'll show you that clip now. Oh, damn it. I hooked up to a really good fish. It's got me in the weeds already. Might be a kingy. Here it comes. I reckon it's going to be a kingy. Oh, very slow head nods. Oh yeah, that's a kingy. Oh, it's taking me for these uh, cray pots over here. This is the beauty of the uh, PDL kayak. I've got what I suspect is a kingy on the line here. He was taking me straight for those cray pots. And I've simply been able to pedal it out. I'm going to take it out into deeper water. Because I'm on light soft bait gear here. And once I've got it out far enough, I'm going to reel it in. I'm in 16 meters now, so I'm probably in the clear, but I just want to be sure. So I'm going to go a little bit further, make sure I'm right out of that, out of that wash and that weed. It's already had me in the weeds once, so chances are my lead is pretty worn down. I'm just going to try and take it nice and easy now, get this fish up. Maybe I should have kept taking it out further. It's screaming off for the bottom. I don't think there's any rocks or anything down here, but I just don't want to risk any chance of losing this fish. I felt that leader rubbing through the bra uh, through the weeds earlier on. So It's starting to come up. I can see it on the sounder now. It's at 10 meters. Oh, it's back off. Uh, it's gone and tangled itself around my live boat, I think. But that might not be a bad thing because that might give us an insurance policy. In case the leader on this rod snaps, it might get tangled up in my uh, other rod. Okay, it's about five meters now, it's not far to go. Here it is, yeah, nice kingy. Woo hoo hoo! Long time since I've got a nice kingy like this. Yeah, and on the soft bait too, stoked as. This guy's definitely coming home with us today. Oh, he's really well hooked. go he's on board that's a beautiful eating sized kingfish stoked as in on the soft bait gear how good is that a little untangle this uh, mess so I can get that live back back down there all right there we go live bait is uh Untangled, and there we go. Nice wee kingfish. I'd say it's probably around that 80 centimeter mark to finish off the day. 
stoked as with that on the softback gear too right in the shallows what a mean scrap and i'm over the moon to have this on board so i'm going to put it out of its misery and then get in the back there but yeah aside from that kingfish the fishing was absolutely dead this weekend so luckily i brought the dive gear with me i'm geared up and i'm about to jump in the water so see you guys in there G'day guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you enjoyed that kingfish footage at the start. It was a really nice end to those first couple of days where the fishing had just been super, super slow. So I was having that one last cast in the shallows before heading in, and I shook up to that nice kingfish. You know, not a monster, but good eating size. And then obviously on this third day of the trip, getting in the water and looking around for some crayfish. So this first crayfish that I got was a borderline soft shell. So ended up having to put that one back but after putting it back I kept making my way along these cracks and crevices here when I noticed something which was a nice surprise. Pause the footage here and see if you can see it. Right down there there's a nice big crayfish so you know I don't believe in karma but this certainly felt like karma was doing its thing because yeah put that soft shell one back and then dive down and there was a really nice male crayfish down here so you know, I felt like Tangaroa was definitely uh, giving me a bit of a reward for putting that soft shell one back. And um, yeah, out came this really nice, beautiful big red crayfish, which was the first one to come home for the day. And I was really stoked about it. Woo. Nice cray. After putting that one in the bag I kept making my way along and searching for these crays and you might have noticed but I'm actually in really shallow water. I often start off quite shallow when I'm looking for crayfish because you can quite regularly find them in sort of one to two meters deep which was just the case here. These ones were super shallow. Well, second cray for the day, another great sized crayfish, look at that, that's an epic cray and I'm in such shallow water it's only like Literally two meters deep here. I was pretty much standing up. It's quite surprised to see this big fella down there, but stoked to have another cray in the bag, eh? <laughs> Now by this stage I'd only been in the water for about 30 minutes so I thought it was going to be a really short dive trip this day but um, when I found this crayfish I went to grab it and you'll see what happens. I ended up getting a hand on it but its shell was super soft so I ended up just ditching it straight away. crayfish but unfortunately it was super soft when I went to grab it my thumb almost went through the side of it so yeah had to let that one go but keep trekking on. Whenever I dive this area I always check on this little uh, crack because it's a bit of a honey hole I know it can often hold quite a few crayfish and that was certainly the case this day however none of them were of legal size so purely spectating the crack this day but in the past I have got some nice crays there but they obviously weren't home on this day. Now moving on, I uh, got on the gun and I really wanted to shoot a fish this trip. Um, I don't often spend a lot of time spearfishing, I usually just look for crays, so I thought I'd give it a crack this trip and have a look around on the gun. Diving down over these weeds here, there were plenty of bait fish there, some blue mau mau, silver drummer, even some uh, trevally here. You know, I was keeping an eye on these trevors because I would have really liked to have shot one of them but unfortunately they're all sort of just borderline legal so I was eyeing them up but I was a bit indecisive and uh, I didn't want to shoot anything undersized so just watching, watching, waiting for a big one to come through but none that I was really that comfortable with taking the shot on uh, came through so 
sort of just left it. Better safe than sorry is my approach. Didn't take long before I gave up on the gun because all I was seeing was lots of small trivelli and blue mau mau and uh, there was a port eye in there as well but I didn't really want to shoot that so went back to looking for crays and under this boulder here I found a nice crayfish on the left there um, but it was quite hard to access so I went around the other side of this rock to have another look at it from the other side to see if I'd have a better chance of grabbing it from that side and as I went down I actually noticed there was a much much bigger crayfish here on the left so sort of it was in quite a precarious place um, so what I ended up doing was I could see its feelers poking out on this right hand side and I knew there was a bit of a gap behind it on the left so I reached around with my left hand put my hand behind where that crayfish was and then once I uh, sort of went to grab it from the front it backed back into my hands and made for an easy grab from behind Yeah boy, third cray, epic cray two, stoked. Well, not much luck there on the gun, unfortunately. I. Uh, I was just having a look around that rock behind me and I had a couple of small schools of Trevally come up to me but they're all quite small and I was too indecisive so didn't end up shooting any but it's all good we got our limit of crayfish today three really nice crays so uh, yeah got to be wrapped about that um, and those are going with yesterday's kingfish so heading back to Auckland tonight with a really good haul and uh, yeah that's going to wrap up this trip sad to be leaving this place it's uh, such an amazing place but uh, I'm sure I'll be back here soon. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.